Hello and welcome to WTMJ's Get Understanding broadcast. I am Pastor Eddie LaRoque and with me is... I'm Pastor Pierre Roman Eliassin. So welcome back to join us. You know that we offer this Bible teaching in its full context, historical context, and we rightly divide the word of truth. Amen. So... To reach us, what's yes. the number? 1-888-434-WTMG. 1-888-434-9865. And then if you want to write us, if you want to support the ministry, please support us and send your contribution to us, to the ministry at P.O. Box, 642 Holbrook, New York, 11741. You can write your check to WTMJ. And that will be a great support for the ministry. So we want to remind you also to press right down there the subscribe button. Yes. Click on the subscribe button and share this broadcast with your friends, with your neighbors, with your coworkers, your colleagues. And we want to thank you for all of your support. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your amazing grace in Christ Jesus. Thank you for what you have done for us through Christ Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are the teacher. As we're going to study your word, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, they came from you. So we're asking you to fill us up with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So we can teach your word accordingly for the glory of God. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Our teaching for today is the gospel must mix. Must mix. The mm -hmm. gospel must mix. Yes. You hear me? The gospel must mix. Mix. I know you want me to ask the question, right? Because there's a second part there. You want me to ask, <laughs> Pastor Pierre, the gospel must mix. mix with what? Before I say with what, do you know the gospel is the power of God? Yes, scripture the tells The only us. power of God. Yes. And I said right now, the gospel must mix. Now, the gospel is the Power of God, the power. only power of God for mankind's salvation. But and guess what? Yet, the gospel must mix. It must mix. Yep. So I know you want me to ask again, again. right? Again. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Pierre. Yes. The gospel must mix with what? Is the answer, and that is the title of our teaching. The gospel must mix with faith. The gospel must mix with faith. Wow. Pastor Eddie, the word of God said in the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. Paul wrote to Titus. And what he said. He said, the grace of God mm -hmm. that brings salvation mm -hmm. has appeared to all people. Hold on, to a few people. Nope. To the Gentiles. The, the, uh, the Gentiles. Nope. Uh, to the Jewish people. Nope. To a few people God wanted to be appeared. Nope. What is said, Pastor Eddie? That 
the grace of God. The grace of God mm -hmm. that brings salvation has appeared to all people. This is God's word. The undeserved, the unmerited, the unearned favor of God, the grace of God, that brings salvation, bastards. What we need to be saved. The only way to be saved, that grace who brings salvation, the word of God who cannot lie, because this is the word of the living God Almighty. It is yes and amen. He said, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all people. To all people. So, question. Yes. Will all people, Pastor Pierre, mm -hmm. be saved? If you read that verse, we just quote Titus chapter 2, verse 11. If you read that verse only, you will say, Oh yes, because he said the grace of God that brings salvation has appealed to okay. all people. Because by the way, we are saved by grace. Yes. So therefore, if the grace of God appeal to all people, so your question would be, yes, but context. By the way, the question you ask me, will all be saved? The answer, Pastor Eddie, is absolutely. Absolutely. And again, absolutely no. Maybe you may ask me another question. Yeah. yeah. What it is? What they want me to ask too. Why what not? You, Why oh, not? So that, that's what they want. Can you hear that? Yes, yes, I can hear you all. Why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking. Why not? You know, I don't want to give that answer. Because if I say it, you will say, ah, I'd rather go with you. We are the WTMG. World Teaching Ministry of Jesus. Sometimes, let's go to the Bible directly we and answer. That. Yes, we do. For that question, why not? Mm -hmm. Let's open your Bible in the book of Hebrew. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 2. And that's why you can read it for them. They and ask you the question, what, give them the answer. This <laughs> is what Scripture tells us. Mm -hmm. For unto us, was the gospel preached mm -hmm. as well as unto them okay the word preached did not hold on what you said the word preached did not okay did not what did not profit them mm -hmm. not being mixed mm -hmm. with faith in them that heard it. The gospel. The only power of God for mankind salvation. The author of the book of Hebrews said they heard the gospel but it did not profit them. All in the world, the powerful word of God did not, did not profit those who hear it. Why, Pastor? The answer is there. Because they did not mix it with faith. So there is something that we have to do. Amen. So, Pastor Eddie, we're not talking about works. Because you know salvation is only by grace, but through faith. Through faith. So, Pastor Eddie, only in combining these two truths, grace and faith, we have the truth. That activates the power. Hallelujah. Of God. The grace of God is the gift of God. They say I cannot understand. But one thing God said. 
Whosoever believe. What's the key word? Believes, Pastor Eddie. Believe. Nothing to do but believe. Pastor Eddie, sometimes you may say, Man, how come a, such a beautiful thing, powerful thing, eternal thing, is so easy because that's the only way you and I can receive it. If God was putting requirements, I'm telling you, none of us will be able. Because God's standard, God's requirements will be like over us. But thank God, Christ done everything, Pastor Eddie. Yes, he did. And we just have to believe. Yes, Pastor Eddie. So too often, mm -hmm. Pastor Pierre, we have the tendency to take a truth mm -hmm. from God's word and focus on it mm -hmm. to the exclusion of other biblical Amen. truths. And that's how we get into hot water. That's how we get into error. You need to make sure when you study the word of God as a consistency word. I love to say it's like a puzzle from the first verse in the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, to the last verse in the Bible, Revelation chapter 22, verse 21. My dear friend, let, not, let us not pick and choose. Let us make sure we study the whole thing in context so we can get the truth. Can you read that for me again, Pastor Eddie, please? Very often, and it's too often, mm -hmm. we have the tendency to take a truth from God's word. So many times, Pastor Eddie, someone can keep on talking about something, but never see the whole picture, the whole context. And that happens too often. Too often. Mm -hmm. So we take that truth mm -hmm. from God's word and we focus on it. Yes exclusively exclusively mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and forget about the other biblical truths and that's how we get into hot water i said because we're not building precept upon precept here we go upon precept here we go upon precept. oh i love that that is how you said that yes take a little here take a little there because and like i said it's like a puzzle and you said that's how we get into error yes as we are a teaching ministry, a lot of time people make what they call doctrinal error. What is doctrinal error, Pastor Eze? It's simply a truth mm -hmm. taken to an extreme mm -hmm. or taken as the sole truth. So then, if that's the case, that person is not building precept no upon way. precept. No upon way. precept. Right? That person is not taking a little here, a little there, because nope. the Holy Bible is a Amen. puzzle. It's a puzzle. If you really, that's what I love the way when Paul said to Timothy, study. I always say to people, the Bible is not a book to read. It's a book to study. Study. To show yourself approved unto God. A workman that did not to be ashamed. How come you not being ashamed? When you rightly divide the word of truth, when you take the word, you take your time, you know in what context you are studying, what it means. This is why you need a great pray God. I have that to say to you. Before you join a church, I am asking you, put you on your knees. And pray your Father so the Holy Spirit can guide you to a teaching ministry. Can guide you where you can listen and study and hear the Word of God without compromising. Without compromising, without diluting it, understanding that there was a particular context yes. in which this text in which this narrative 
was written. Here we go. And we cannot take oh, the verse out oh. of its context. context. Amen. Okay? And by the way, that also includes when we're talking about context, mm -hmm. we're, we're also talking about the culture. Absolutely. And we've made this point before. Of that the is time. very important. That's what we call, our, we call historical setting, Pastor yes. Eddie. That's why you have to make sure you take the whole thing very, very seriously. So we're talking about what the grace of God, the gospel must mix with faith. But remember, the grace of God appeals to everyone. And when Pastor A.T. think about how you ask me that question, <laughs> and they ask me that question, how in the world we need to mix something about the gospel, the grace of God, come? No, everyone cannot be saved because we said we need to be mixed with faith. And here's the key verse concerning salvation. We are going to see grace and faith together. Key verse. Key verse. Found in yes. Ephesians chapter 2, mm -hmm. verses 8 and 9. And here we go. Yes. For by grace. By what? By grace. Okay. Are ye saved through faith? Oh, hold on. Why not grace only? Because we got to have that second part. To we got to mix, mix it. it up. Here we go. Mix it up. Hallelujah. So for by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. That it part. is the gift. Amen. Our Father is so generous. Hallelujah. It is the gift of God, not of works. Amen. Lest any man should Boast. You know what I love to say, Pastor Eddie? What's that? Even the faith you have to believe in God is a gift of God. That gives you that possibility. That gives you that opportunity. God put that in you even to believe in Him. Because it's nothing about yourself. Remember, we were dead. In our sins. Dead in our sins. Dead in our trespasses. Yes. And the grace of God give us life. Yes. So how to respond? This is a mystery. How God bring us up to himself. But the Bible said, there is something he put in us and we have to respond. Pastor Eddie, we can hear many of books. We cannot really have a clear understanding of that. I say only one thing. Thank be to God. When I hear God's voice. When I hear God's voice. When I hear God's voice. I respond. By His grace. So. Oh, this is so beautiful. Ooh. It's a gift. Amen. And you said when you heard God's voice. You responded. What about you? What about you? When you hear God's voice calling Amen. you, Amen. why not respond? Hallelujah. When you feel that Amen. stirring Praise in your heart, God. when you hear him calling you, when you are feeling that desire amen hallelujah why not answer him why not as pastor pierre did respond by his grace amen to his grace amen hallelujah so please god's plan is always about what collaboration between God and mankind. Let me tell you something. A lot of things mankind cannot do it without God. Yes. But guess what? God will not do it without mankind. Woo. Oh, I can't I can't I can't I can go deeper in that. Say it again. Mankind cannot do it without God. I need God. But 
Guess what Pastor Edi? Tell us. God will not do it without mankind. You know why? I can prove that to you. And you're going to go to the scripture. Absolutely. You can read it, Pastor Edi. It's Psalm 115 verse 16. What he said. Psalm 115 verse 16. Mm-hmm. States. The heaven. Even the heavens are the Lord's. Okay. This is the boundaries. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. And then the same verse continues and said, But, but the earth has been given to mankind. But the earth God has given to mankind. God is a respectful God. God Keep his word. We can go so deep in that teaching, Pastor A.D. When God gave something, that's it. When mankind messed up, they messed up. But God gave them. That's why even for God to come to his human, he has to become a man. Oh, this is so deep. This is why, unfortunately, because of what? Adam did. This is the key I have as authority, Pastor. They give me that key. Imagine this is a key. And then I give it to you. Who has the authority now? Adam did. He gave his authority to Satan. Thank this God is why Jesus. Pastor AD, the word of God said in Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4, the God of this earth is Satan. My friend, this is why we need Jesus. This is why the Bible used the word redemption. Because Jesus has to brought you back. Because you are in the open market. Market. I mean, the word of God for said is so beautiful if you take your time to study it in context. Yes, indeed. So, my friend, we need God's grace and the faith of God and well them. Together. I love that word weld. Weld them together. Weld them together. Yes, Pastor Eddie. God has done and will keep doing things for us regardless of what we've done or what we deserve mm-hmm. because of the finished work of Jesus Christ. The Lamb of, of God. God. And that's why they call grace. That's why we call grace. So, because of Jesus Christ, we receive God's grace. My friend, God's grace is never based on human performance. I know a lot of people try to work hard, Pastor Eddie, to receive God's grace. Hello? It's a gift. It's a gift. We're not working, we're not performing. God's grace does not diminish human responsibility. You see the balance? This is why society, a lot of people enjoy the principles Mm -hmm. of the Bible. Having God's grace, Mm -hmm. as Paul said, I did not take the grace of God in vain. Oh, we have to stop. We have to stop because we've been too long. We're supposed to stay 20 minutes. We only have four minutes more. But let me tell you something. We will come back and continue that powerful teaching. God bless you. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.